my life. Okay. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jen, I'm 25 years old and I am the 2022 Next Gen Scholar for GUE, so for Global Underwater Explorers. Um, I'm here in Florida for the first time um, at the Global Conference in Gainesville. So yeah, I'm super excited to be here and this is my first video. So this is just a quick introduction to say hi and to tell you a bit about my past experiences and why I decided to apply for this and what I'm looking forward to do so in the future. So I've just returned from Saudi Arabia where I spent a year as a field research technician, but also working on a project with Ocean X, which is an expedition vessel that travels around the world. Um, we did this in partnership with several Saudi Arabian um, organizations, academic institutions, and also social media groups, for example, Nat Geo and NHK. Um, I was super lucky to be able to help in all aspects of this. For example, we did megafauna surveys in helicopters. So I was there doing sound checks, but also actually looking around um, at the water, spotting megafauna and then recording what we see for um, surveys. I was also really lucky to be part of the environmental DNA team. So we would go out and daily there would be um, robotic underwater vehicle deployments. So we would go out and set, get um, samples, for example, sediment cores. And then in the lab, I would extract the DNA from that to give us a picture of the biodiversity of that region. So that was super cool to do every day because you got to be both um, in the mission control room and working with the ROV pilots and then also in the lab as well. Um, aside from that, I was super honored to be um, going down in submersibles with both the media team um, and also the science team. So we had two submersibles there. Um, with the science submersible, we were going down and collecting deep sea corals, again, sediment cores, um, different samples, for example, water samples and things like that. Anything we saw, we would collect and map for science because it was really special to be in a place where nobody else had gone before. Um, so when we did that, we would come up, see what we saw, and we would do experiments with deep sea corals and the other um, samples that we found as well. I was also lucky to be involved with the media team. And so we would host live classrooms. And so kids would tune in from around the world and I would get to um, answer questions that they had about the Red Sea and science in general. And then finally, I was involved in the logistical aspect of this expedition. So I would go and help with permits, with transportations, with quarantine hotels, because we operated this during COVID as well. And so there was a lot of writing emails at 1 a.m., but it was amazing to see behind the scenes of this expedition. Um, so the one thing that I really missed doing and that I didn't do a lot during that expedition was diving. So I want to integrate my expeditions and project skills with good quality diving. So hence I applied for this scholarship and I was amazed that I got selected. So over the course of this year, I really want to enhance my diving regency, um, do any of the Rec 2 courses. I would love to do photogrammetry or the scientific diver courses and eventually become um, an instructor. That is a long-term goal, but I'm super excited because, yeah, I have a dream, as we all should, um, and my dream is to become a scuba instructor either with an expedition vessel, with a neutral buoyancy lab, or any of those sea-to-space companies which are now developing, because I think it's really important to explore all aspects and the synergies between the space um, exploration and the deep-sea exploration should be more integrated, and I really want to make that happen. So yeah, so stay tuned for my upcoming adventures um, and remember to like, comment and subscribe and follow my journey. Um, we'll also put the socials at the bottom of this video. So please reach out because I would love to connect with you all and make some more diving friends in this amazing community. Thank you for now.